the state of your heart the second hindrance in fact you can call it the corruption of the heart the second hindrance to men experiencing God at a higher level is the state of your heart the corruption of the state of a man's heart Jeremiah chapter 9 from verse um, okay Jeremiah 17 9 and 10 says the heart of man is deceptive and it is desperately wicked he says who above all who can know it then verse 10 says I the Lord I search the heart watch this I try the reins to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his findings can you imagine this Psalm 24 3 and 4 Psalm 24 Spirit, have your way in us today. Spirit, take your place as we are changed. Spirit, have your way in us today. Spirit, take your place as we are changed forevermore psalm 24 who shall ascend to the hill of the lord is a hill in the spirit these are the requirements or who shall stand in his holy place verse 4 he that hath clean hands he that hath a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully let me tell you the truth in my walk with god and believe me i'm a student of revival i have studied the moves of god the greatest requirement to being used by god is the purity of your heart beyond your prayer life beyond your fasting beyond your word study as important as they are the state of your heart vetoes every other spiritual activity you can fast all you can with a corrupted heart you only wasted your time you can pray all you can that's that cry of the psalmist purify my heart i've done a teaching on that you can go to koinonia global and get it purify my heart hmm. hallelujah you can do many correct things but not with a perfect heart like amaziah he did what was right in the sight of god but not with a perfect heart a pure heart the state of your heart write this for reference in second kings chapter 4 the full text is from verse 8 to 31 but for sake of time i would just just let you have the rendition so that you learn so the bible talks about the woman in shunem the shunamite woman that she had a child by the word of the prophet elisha and then in the course of time the child became sick and the father sent that the mother would come and nurse the child and while he was on her lap the child died the bible says the woman got her donkeys and was on her way to meet elisha and when she met elisha they has he met Elisha sent Gehazi to meet her on the way and he asked are you fine is everything well and she said I'm fine when she met the prophet she said I didn't ask you for a child it was of your making you said you would pray for me to have a child now the child is dead I've come to you and do you know what happened Elisha gave Gehazi his rod and said go with it at once don't be so distracted to greet anybody if anyone greets you don't even respond and go and lay that rod on the child and the child will come back to life and so Gehazi went ahead and the woman said I'm not leaving you I don't trust this your man and so he prevailed she prevailed upon him and he was going with her but Gehazi had gone ahead of them the Bible says when Gehazi went he met the child dead and he placed the rod what happened 
the correct rod by the correct prophet and yet it did not come back to life because what powers the rod is the state of your heart the state of your heart is that battery like you have a clock and there is a battery behind it you can buy a new clock if that battery is not there it will not work the state of your heart there are many people who have received impartations oil upon oil mantle upon mantle but it fell dead upon a corrupted heart are we together it is not just about receiving it is about the purity of your heart what makes your heart pure i will tell you the desire in your heart to see god glorified beyond making a name for yourself that's what makes your heart pure the moment you get to a point in your life where your entire life is all about giving god glory like we say in koinonia jesus revealed jesus glorified everything about your life is one of the biggest secrets of the life of this man standing before you it is not necessarily because i prayed the most fasted the most studied the most no there's something about god finding a heart that is sincere towards him that you sincerely desire to see him glorified that was a prayer i prayed before i left coming here i said lord i'm on my way going again the mission remains the same to see jesus glorified people will clap they will say apostle and this but they glorify i will tell you this once you do not work on your heart there are things god cannot trust you with he cannot trust you with people he cannot trust you with resources he cannot trust you with opportunities you know why the answer is found in deuteronomy chapter 8 when you read from this 11 to 17 lest your heart be lifted up in the presence of abundance achievements accomplishments you tell yourself my power and the might of my hand has given me this there are many preachers who are great but cannot be used by god beyond certain realms do you know why because somewhere locked up in our hearts that desire for a name that desire for fame and it's a temptation that befalls all men you must resist it resist it are we together now there are business people who cannot be used by god because the day you make your first million dollars ten million dollars hundred million dollars my goodness god will have to queue to listen to you too i mean god he will come and join the queue and you say i'm busy who are you king of kings it doesn't matter you just join the queue ah. till the nations now you understand the song till the nations see jesus till the nations see jesus lifted up glorified i receive i manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up glorified when your desire for power becomes as a tool to help the nation see jesus then you are ready for authentic genuine power when your desire for wealth is not just to flash designers and say i am this and that and that no that's too small a reason god's program is bigger than just having a good dress nothing wrong with that but if that is the circumference of your pursuit you're wasting your time as far as doing business with god is concerned forever koinonia will live to sing his praises and to let the nation see him i tell you it's an intentional project to discourage anything that would just lead to the promotion of self thank god for joshua selman but with or without me god's program can happen it's an honor to be part of his program listen very carefully as god lifts you you must be careful people can clap you to your downfall and when you fall they will say come and see him we said it hmm. the state of your heart a broken and a contrite heart 
a broken and a contrite heart a heart that is ready to tremble before God Lord you have given me this grace you have given me this glory but it is all yours my life belongs to you my resources belong to you the influence belongs to you the songs the preachings the re everything and you let the nations know the safest position for a believer is to hide behind the cross the safest position hide behind the cross the world will call you a fool but you will last our obsession for celebrity living and don't get me wrong God is all about increasing men and giving him visibility but the purpose is for his glory you see that now when it becomes about self the marketing of self making a name for self now you are behaving like Nimrod in Genesis 11 go to let us build a city whose tower will reach the heavens and let us make a name for ourselves let me tell you my dear people you never spend your life exalting Jesus and then become a nonentity it's not true in lifting him you will find out that you are lifted too for his sake I've given this example remember during our retreat my focus is the top of this pulpit but it's impossible to focus here and not see here my Bible is not resting here however because this is what is supporting this as I lift this everything connected to it is lifted too. you see how it happens glorify now thy son that thy son may glorify thee so if God finds out that he's deriving great glory from your life what happens is that he keeps lifting you for his namesake empowering you for his namesake honoring you for his namesake this is what God does so when you see the results behind this ministry and what God is doing I'm teaching you this for those who just came for those who are family here let me tell you the truth learn this as a principle this is not about being humble it's about being wise when you try to take God's glory and let men see you they will clap for you but that will be the last time but when you let men see him they will clap for him and it will be your joy to be the one lifting him like a trophy and that applause will continue and remain for as long as you are there. It's a wiser bargain. The state of your heart. Place your hand on, on your chest and say, purify my heart. Go ahead, pray in one minute. Purify my heart. Purify my conscience. Someone pray in one minute. And for those who are following across the globe, following on Koinonia Global, go ahead, pray. Purify my heart. Hallelujah. See, many other things, I'm not going into them, but things like pride and so on and so forth, they are byproducts of a corrupted heart. An arrival mentality. You see that? Our generation is a proud generation. We have to trust God for grace. To repent from pride is a cancer, it kills literally the moment you find yourself beating your chest or asking other people to help you beat your chest and say well you see it it's still the same thing can a man receive anything that god did not give can a man heal any sick body without the power of god no the doctors tell you to swallow the tablets and even they cannot explain fully what happens after you swallow it that one is between your body and the creator because there are times a tablet can decide to fight you the tablet you say is not a living thing it can fight you and it knows where to go in your body and fight you till it kills you so at that point it's not medicine and surgery again it's the creator's help is someone listening that prayer purify my heart must remain your prayer even up until the evening we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.